Hi, everyone. I'm Nina. This is the panning button. I'm Jesse. Thank you for joining us in this basement where we're definitely not going to torture you. So the view, they've become a little more deranged than usual, especially Sonny Hostin. Now, is the, it Hostin or Hostin? I think it's Hostin. So on the panel, there's always one Republican or right wing conservative on the right of the table. That pushes back. Well, they really haven't had that. I don't remember the woman's name because I stopped watching The View, but she actually, for the second time ever, pushed back against Sonny Hostin. And uh, we're going to see why she had to push back. There are some macro issues here. The fact that the nation elected somebody like Donald Trump, who even people who voted for him, I talked to so many of these people, will say, I don't like him. I don't like the things he says, but I felt like my life was better under him. I think that we, I think that a lot of Democrats missed the moment. They were looking at the micro and not the macro. Do you so think there's, the Republicans there's, missed the moment? What about a, a postmortem on the let, Republican Party, which thank, is the I Trump was just party about right now? They just swept, though. The, I mean, I, I've been they talking just, about what I'd like to see from the Republican Party. They won, but, but they're America, morally bankrupt. But America <laughs> just gave them. So let me let me just make my point here. So we have people talking about, well, how did he win Michigan? Because Democrats are saying, oh, she should have talked more about Gaza. No union halls were empty. Dearborn went for Donald Trump. This is not about a micro issue like Gaza. It's people saying the cost of living is too high. The wages are too low. My life felt better under him. And I know what we'll say. Well, Goldman Sachs says the economy will do better under her. The analysts at, um, right. at UPenn and Wharton. Well, we'll say. Nobody who is struggling to make ends meet at the table, like how am I going to pay this bill, cares what Wharton That's professors because they were say about the economy. Well, let, 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 me, let me. Let me. And just one more thing I want to mm-hmm. say. This issue of abortion, which I hope we can unpack more. She said we were bombarded by misinformation. That's why we didn't realize that um, our bank accounts weren't empty. But that's that's (laughs) not what she's saying. That's what they're saying, right? That's what they're saying. Not her. No, not her. She's saying that they don't care about whatever those high institutions say. Right. Because they're looking at their table and they're remembering four years ago and they're remembering now and they're comparing the two and saying this was better for me. Exactly. Yep. Yep. And that's very true as to a lot of people who voted for Trump. It's because they wanted a better economy, one that they had previously. Yep. I remember when, um, what's his name, Don Lemon went out and he was interviewing people on the street and he asked about the, uh, I don't know if he asked about the economy, but the one guy brought up the economy that he was interviewing and he said, I'm voting for Trump because the economy was better under Trump. I had more money in my bank account. And Don Lemon said, I know you feel that way, but the numbers say that the economy's doing great. Like Bill Maher did the same thing. And it's like, I'm sorry, you don't live in my house. Do you live in my body? Do you check my bank account? Do you go to the grocery store with me and see how much I have and how much I have to spend? And, you know, like, no, the, this whole like misinformation bullshit, because you're literally gaslighting people into believing that they're not going through money struggles when they are. We just had, we just watched something with Donald Trump Jr. saying that he had sticker shock at McDonald's because he spent 50 bucks on three people at McDonald's. Mm-hmm. And I just looked at you the other day. <clears throat> Remember, we I got you McDonald's and I said, hey, guess what? Guess how much a Big Mac costs? What would you say? Five. Yeah, you know how much it costs? Mm. Seven dollars and 19 cents. Mm-hmm. Which is like wild. But we're just seeing things. See, we're just, we're, but the economy's better now. The economy's so they can much better. For Big Macs and I know. Diapers. It's just, listen, when we're going to the grocery store and we're paying more, that's a misinformation. I know, I know. It's all in our heads, yeah, right? Yeah, all in our heads. Goldman Sachs says that we should have more money. And we like need they to listen. Do. Right. We just need to listen to all that. Or, um, there are a lot of women who cared about abortion, but they were in states like Pennsylvania where they don't have an ultra-restrictive abortion law. They were voting more because they're like pocket bush it, it, pocketbook issues matter more than if a woman in Alabama is able but to get an abortion. But they're going to do worse under a Trump administration. But the I only people that are going to do well are the millionaires and the billionaires. And, and, and finally, we talk a lot about these. But it's the opposite. That's what we were just saying. Is currently, <laughs> yeah, millionaires dude. and billionaires are doing better than your everyday person because of Kamala Harris and Joe Biden's administration. And you can say all you want that it was Trump. They inherited it. Well, you had four years to, like, fix it, and you didn't. So if you're still working with Trump's economy, then you never did shit with your own. Yep. So you're still the problem. (laughs) You're going to do worse under Trump. It hasn't happened yet, but it's going to happen. You should believe us. No. You live 
in a million, multi-million dollar house. Your children go to Harvard. You don't have money problems. I don't care if you're a woman of color. It doesn't matter to me because you are rich, I am poor, and my struggles are way f***ing different than yours. You don't live my life. You don't understand my struggles or the struggles of the American people. Why the f*** would I listen to you? What she's saying is she, if she lives in Pennsylvania, they're way more lax about abortion laws, just like New York. She's not concerning herself with someone else's abortions right, abortion rights in Alabama because she's so concerned with keeping food on her table. Right. And that's a very valid point. If she mm -hmm. has enough money to keep food on her table, then the person, like the following people in that area do have enough money to move to a different state where abortion is legal. Mm -hmm. If we can fix that problem, the abortion problem was completely falls apart because they can meet, like they can meet financially the needs to go find the, the abortion they need. Agreed. Different demographics and these assumptions of where they're going to go. Latinos in Texas, a, dis a district that's 97% Latino, went 75 percentage points for Donald Trump. Why? Misogyny. It's on the, no, that's it's why. on the border. It's the border. There you go. The view just showed their racism. Well, not racism necessarily. Misogyny is what they call it. I mean, yeah, because they're saying Latinos are misogynistic. Which is racist. Which is crazy because I come from a Latino family, and I will say that most of those men are very respectful towards women. <laughs> Have yeah. you ever seen a Do you know what Hispanic it's... mom with her son? Just saying. <laughs> I know. Well, see, Sonny Houston is a lazy thinker. Mm -hmm. This is just lazy thinking. This is no, I'm right, and I'm going to be right by saying they're racist, they're misogynistic, they're stupid, they're uneducated. Like, you know, this is why you lost. This is why us two from the left moved to the middle and the right accepted us with open arms. And you know what? That's why we moved for Trump, amongst a myriad of other reasons. But this cockiness... It makes people want to vote against your side, and that's another reason why we voted for Trump against people like this, you're talking down to the regular American person, and you're trying to act like you know our f***ing struggles when you don't. Not only the regular American person, but also minorities within the American people. Mm -hmm. You're talking about Latin Latinos, as you like to call them, Latinx people, which drives them crazy, but nobody ever wants to listen to me when I say that they are the more conservative of the people. They don't want to hear Latinx. Latinos. No, Latino. Latinos. <laughs> Yes, they change their voice for it, Latinos, which I, I hate that stuff. Me if too. I, if I'm speaking in Spanish, sure, I'll use the accent, but I'm not going to do it when I'm speaking in English. It's ridiculous. L the word ending, OS in Spanish, yes, it's masculine, but it's used for a group of people if there's any men or women in there. So Latinos is very accurate for the entire population. Latin X is actually taking away from their language and replacing it with something that you feel fit, but fits it better. It's a little colonizing, don't you think? If you're talking specifically about Hispanic women, yes, Latinas. But if you're talking about the group of Hispanic individuals, Latinos is completely accurate. And that's another point that they're, they're, they're losing people on. Instead of just saying gays and lesbians, you now have LGBTQIA, two spirit plus, blah, 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 blah. Yep. You're losing people. And you're acting like assholes, honestly. Mm hmm. Our crisis is on their doorstep. So, so. And they were begging people to care about it for years. We need to take sexism. some lessons. That's what that was. The lessons are not knock, misogyny. Knock. Misogyny and sexism, she said. They're literally being like, oh, you have such big problems, American people. Ooh, the border is such a big deal. Yeah, it is. You're so f***ing detached. Your head is so far up your rectum, you can't hear because the shit's clogging your ears. I've never been so glad that we live near Canada and not Mexico. <laughs> Amen to that. The Canadians don't break down to get to our side, but they definitely are on our side, let me just tell you. <laughs> They're all over the fucking place. Yeah, they certainly are. But they're not like, they, they travel here because they have some... We have the license that allows us to go to Canada. They have the same idea there, but, like, they're not living here. <laughs> you know, it's so easy for these people to blame others, aside from taking taking responsibility for their own actions. This is why you lost. And if you want to continue, that's fine with me, because I'm more than happy to watch you continue to lose, because you're acting like Holes. You're talking down to us as if we're uneducated white women or we're uneducated, misogynistic, racist people. Like, we've had enough of your sh We're done. We cut you off at the fucking head. We're done with your sh Change or feel the burn. Do you have anything said?
You don't feel the burn because you're smart, babe. <laughs> you We're, think the Republicans me, are sort of an extreme fringe party? No, I don't, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that they're an extreme fringe party. I think that they're operating against those they believe are extreme on the left. Like, for example, when you talk about the LGBTQ community, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fiscal conservative and I'm a social liberal. Mm -hmm. I'm fiscal with my dollars. I ain't apologizing for not wanting to pay high taxes to anybody. I'm not apologizing <laughs> for that, right? But outside of that, I'm pretty liberal. Live and let live, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. But you had folks on the left that were introducing some things. When we, when we got in the whole transgender issue and they were talking about bathrooms or they were talking about males transitioning to females and competing against girls in sports and stuff like that. These That's are less issues. than 1% of the pop population. There you go. There you go. There it is. There. That's another reason why we voted for Trump. You're saying that our struggles, the shit that people deal with, oh, it's only one, but first of all, is it 1%? I don't believe this is worth a damn. But if it's only 1%, yeah, okay. Only 1% of the population is rapists. Why do we care about rape? Only 1% of the population is like, you could use it for anything. And it sounds stupid as f You sound stupid. Your problems, her problems. Racism. Oh, there's only 1% of the population who is racist. Oh, but she's going to make it out to be way bigger than it is, right? What if you it's were to say... It's important to her, so we have to give a damn? What if you were to say that since there's only 13% of an African-American population in, the, in you know, the United States, that only 1% of Africans were slaves? Yeah. Would you like that argument? Yeah. I'm not sure it's true. I'm just saying... Since she, like, cried because uh, she found out that one, she had slave owners in her family. It's only 1% of the population. Why do, you, why do you care? That's the worst argument. Such lazy thinking. Why do we have laws? Why do you lock your fucking door? How often does someone break into your house? Probably less than 1%. Yet you still lock the door. Hmm. Should I give a sh about your safety in your home? It's more than 1%, though, because you see all these videos of young young adolescents playing sports with individuals who are transitioning and you saw the one with the volleyball you see the swim teams you see soccer right soccer's the other one it, rugby everything every sport has been invaded look up she won.org she won.org it literally lists out every woman that was displaced by a man and lost medals too mm -hmm. money scholarships Positions. So when you say it's 1%, I, I have a whole website to tell you all about that 1%. What's 1% 1 of 335 million people? It's 3,350,000. That's what 1% is. It's a lot of people. That's not like nothing, is it? That's 3 million and, people. <laughs> and you have to take into consideration that she f***ing lies all the time. So I don't I don't believe her. That's it, the current... She drives me nuts. That's the current population of adults in the United States. We just looked up the other day. So out of 335 million, 1%, 3 million people, they don't matter, right? <laughs> but see, but I think that's where the mistake is made. Yeah, You're saying it's ridiculous. I don't disagree with you. Yeah. But most of the, the voters out there don't think like that. But they, but that attitude, means they don't have the information. Okay, but 90% of the voters don't have the information. If you're out there busting your tail to make ends meet and to pay your bills and you're going to work every day and you got a family to take care of and you got to stay, you're in New York City, you're getting stuck two hours of your day, you're stuck in traffic. You understand? You got a whole bunch of stuff to go through. You don't have time to know what you and maybe I know. Maybe you need to listen to the news when you're in traffic. Well, well again, maybe. I... Well, let's listen to more of their bullshit. Let's yeah. listen to her talk more because that's what oh, she really yeah. wants. Well, see, the, the 70, mm -hmm. my 5 million people, they just, they just don't have the information. They have no information. We have to give them more information. Listen to the news more. No. No. No, we don't need to listen to you. We've been listening to you. You know what's happened? A whole bunch of sh And then you're saying it's not happening. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I know what I'm going through. You know what you're going through. You don't know what the f we're going through. They know what we're going through. Exactly. I was talking about the view. I know, but I'm talking to them. Listen, you're, you're just, you're just stupid. That's what they're saying. They're saying, listen, you're, <laughs> you're just dumb. You need to listen to us more. We know what's right for you. I'm ready for the well, view to I'm start sorry, losing that, views. That sounds like a dictatorship to me. They're going to have more conservatives on soon. They're going to have no choice. No, this authoritative sh like you, they've been trying to say for years, Trump's authoritarian, authoritarian, dictator, blah, blah, blah. You guys are acting like the same people you're complaining about. 
That's all they Except know how to the do. the people they're complaining about aren't acting like that. They are acting like that. No, they project, they project out what they're afraid of because that's what they do. Exactly. Yep. Again, Maybe I agree not. with that. Be uninformed. Yeah. 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 Listen to stuff that's going to take you away from the things yeah. that brings Plus down your spirit. Yeah. And that's unfortunately what most voters are doing. Let me ask you this. Do you think the view after the election results came out was like, okay, everyone underneath your seat's a box of Kleenex and a safety blanket. If you need anything else, just let one of our producers know. Oh, I know. bet they all cried. I bet they all cried. Anyway. What do you think? Do you watch The View? <laughs> How can you? <laughs> like and subscribe, everybody, and comment below. Follow us for more content like this. And join our memberships for early access to our videos, uncensored content, prioritized commenting, social media follows, shout outs, and all that stuff. Find us on YouTube, here, Twitter. We're on TikTok, Instagram. Instagram. Nina has music on Spotify. Look up Nina B, one word, and you'll find your stuff. Feel free to check it out. Bye. Bye. Bye.